Hey, I made a grow box out of travertine. And I grew this Japanese shiso plant in it. Well, make sure you stick around to the very end. There's four more gardeners. I put their videos right at the end. Really awesome videos. You're going to want to check those out. Now this is a little volunteer plant that just sprouted this spring. Leftover seed from last year's harvest. So we decided to put it in this travertine grow box that we built. Plant. It's in the mint family. So it should do well in the wet environment. And we just popped it in here with the pool noodle to hold it in place. And the leaves are pretty cool. Green on top, purple on the bottom. And they use it in Japanese cuisine like a wrapper. So in the meantime, we're going to enjoy some of these pea shoots that we grew a while ago. If you missed that video, I'll link it up above. You can check that one out. Unfortunately, the squirrels love my sunflower sprouts. Yeah. Tichi, we need to go run off some squirrels. You ready? There he is. Go get him. Mm. Oh well. All right, now here's our little plant. A couple weeks later, doing pretty good in here. Now I fill this up maybe once every week and a half. And you can see it's losing some of the color. The purple's all gone. So maybe it needs to be in the sun. So we put it in the sun for a little while. And since this was my only plant, I decided to let this one go to seed. This has a real shallow root system, worked really well in here, no algae. Roots look pretty good. Good size, this is a perfect size for a wrap. And the colors come back on the bottom of the leaves. But I'm just gonna leave it to dry and harvest the seeds so I'll have more plants than just this one. It's about a week later. I'm going to go ahead and not water this anymore and hang it upside to dry. Much more to come. Alright, don't forget, live to inspire. Keep on growing. I love y'all. Peace.